Everybody has older folks or all. <laughs> the devil's got our focus off the skeleton, on the Lord, and he's got it off of that to where all we see is the missing pieces. All we see are what is not here. What God did with Ezekiel was he got his eyes off of what was not there. And he said, can the bones live? Can, what, can these bones, amen, come to life, Ezekiel? And, uh, and, and Ezekiel, well, you know. <laughs> Amen. We often, sometimes, we, that's, we, we really do. We get, we get focused on the skeleton and then next thing you know when we start praying for revival, all we can think of is what we do not have. God isn't interested in what we do not have. He's interested in what we have. He's interested. Is the foundation still there? Amen. Is there still some truth there? Amen. Is there still the gospel? Amen. Your foundational principle. Are there still people that are hungry for God? Amen. And he says, can these bones live? And we can say, yes, Lord. You know. Amen. You built a church. Amen. Out of, out of 12 illiterates. Amen. You can build a church out of me. Amen. They didn't have cars. They didn't have a bus. They didn't. Have, but he built a church upon the foundational principles. Death. Where is thy sting grave? Where is thy victory? Can you live? Can the church live this morning? Can God recreate his church in you? Or are we, are we going to continue to focus on what's not there? And, uh, you know, sometimes we do get discouraged. You know why we get discouraged, right? You already, I've already said it a million times. Because we get focused on what's not there. You get focused on what's not there. Sometimes, you know, I, I shot this deer twice. First time, I thought it was going to die. I thought for sure I'd hit it good. I hit it right there. In the antler. And it stunned him. He went down to the ground like he was dead, but he, he's holding his head up and going like this. I had enough time. To, he was stunned long enough. I sat there for a minute. And I got down and I walked 80 yards to where he was. And he was still laying there looking at me. And I couldn't see a hole nowhere where I'd hit him. I couldn't tell I'd hit him on the antler. And I thought, so I shot him again on the spot. I don't like to do that. But I did. Sometimes we get wounded and we get stunned. And we, we allow that to bring us down. Let's get focused on Christ. His ability to recreate, to restore what we've lost. We don't have to. That's what we, I, we don't realize. We don't have to have the tissues. We don't have to have the cartilage. We don't have to have all these things. Yes, the Lord restores it, we'll have it. But we don't have to personally worry about, constantly worry about where we're going to get all the pieces. Do we? It's God that gives the life. It's God that creates. Amen. Turns our decay into a deliverance. Amen. We talk about our, right this time of year, this, every four years, it comes up generally, but this year it's a big topic of how decayed our country is, how decayed our moral principles have become. Amen. Man, and we wonder. But you know, 
God is able. He breathed life into man once. And then he breathed spiritual life into us. In Acts chapter 2. As far as the power of the Holy Ghost is concerned. Now he can still do it today. Can these bones live? And this song I'm done. Forgot to call you up a second ago. Can these bones live? Sure they can. If we'll get our eyes off of what's not there. And get our eyes on the Lord and say, Lord, you know. And then guess what? We find God telling Ezekiel to do. He says, tell them. (laughs) Tell them. Ezekiel did what God commanded, and it was so. That maybe, maybe we face the realization, just like the Israelites came to the River Jordan, and they were told to cross, but all they could see were the giants. Sometimes I feel like we turn back from that command of the Lord, just like they did. Yes, it's going to be a fight, but there's many blessings to be involved. To be received as well. So let's come to the river Jordan. Let's come to the promise of the Lord. And we, when God says can these bones live. We say yea Lord you know. And then when he says alright. Here's your, here's your job. We say okay. I'm a David up against a Goliath. But okay. I'm a Daniel in the lion's den. But okay. I'm, I'm a Hebrew child getting ready to be thrown into the fire, but okay, Lord. And it's not easy. It's not uh, prosperous. Amen. Uh, but when the Lord says go, we go. He goes with us. Praise the Lord. Let's find a place to pray this morning. Amen. Let it turn these dry bones into deliverance today.